do 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 Alright guys, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. Today we're gonna build a villager breeder. Uh, which will, it's basically infinite. So, here's how we're gonna build it. First, and you don't have to use iron blocks, I just like them. First we're gonna make a shape. And, so we're gonna start in the middle. Alright. So if this is our middle, from each side we want to go 10 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And on this side, see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And so on. 10. Alright, so th this is how it should look, 10 on each side, it's very easy to accidentally put 11. So now we're going to go like this, we're going to put two blocks on each of these, so it's a 3, kind of like a T here, that's what we're going to do. And on one of the sides, it does not matter, we're going to make a 3 by three space coming off it. So ignoring that, three by three plus this. So I guess four by three. Um now what we're gonna do is we are going to go and diagonal this here. So that way it is like diamond. We're gonna do that on every side. It's kind of hard to do it fast. And yeah, remember you don't have to use iron blocks, you can use any ones you want. I just like you using it because in creative they look really nice. Now now what we're gonna do is we're going to get dirt. Now this does have to be dirt. No joke about that. And we are going to go here. We're gonna cover this up. Now this doesn't exactly need to be that high off the ground, but it's best if you do. And we will get to that in a minute. Why it's best to be off the ground a few blocks. Um, it makes a few things easier. Basically what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna fill this whole thing in with dirt okay so now that you have that all filled in with dirt it should look about like this what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glowstone here on these corners you don't have to use glowstone you really don't actually need light really unless you uh, you know unless you don't want monsters spawning in this area um, you don't have to use glowstone, you could use like sea lanterns or just put a excess of torches, but this, if you put them in these corners like that, and if you put them right here on each side, it just seems to be uh, good lighting, but like I said, you don't have to use actual glowstone. Like in my survival world, I have this and I have torches, so. Now, next, here's what we're going to do. Ah, I really wish I had enough filled in that middle, because what we're going to do... So you need to find that middle, and we're going to break that block. But that's easy to find because it is just 10 blocks in from any side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. And it is the 11th one, so... Yep. Now, in here, we're going to put a slab. Okay? And in that slab, we're going to waterlog it. And this just makes it easier. Um... Because this is going to be a farm. And so then on the corners we're going to put stairs. I guess you could just do a regular block. But what we're going to do is we are going to waterlog these in a minute. I'm just going to do that just to kind of even it out there. And then I'm going to do that on all the sides. Again, if you're not building this above the ground, you probably won't really need to do that part. But... Building it above the ground a little bit will be helpful. 
Okay, so now that now that it's like this, we're gonna get water and we're just gonna put it in all of these stairs here. And this is gonna irrigate it because in order for the villagers to breed, they need to have um like carrots or potatoes. Um I don't really understand, but it, it's just how it's gotta be done. So now, now we're going to get glass, and we're going to, it doesn't have to be glass, it can be any block you want, but I need to use glass just so I can see and see what's going on. I'm going to make a too high wall all the way around, right here, and just make this wall all the way around your villager farm. So now it should be looking something like this. Now it's starting to come together here. Um, now, here's what we're going to do. We need to till all of this ground. So, I'm going to start tilling it. Get a good portion. And now that we have it all planted, uh, you can see it's starting to irrigate, so we have just the perfect amount of water. Um, so now, what we're going to do is we're going to get a composter. Oh, a composter, maybe. We're just going to put this right in the middle. And then we're going to put a block on top. Oh. I'm just going to use glowstone, just because... If you are using a lot of glowstone, you know, so keep it bright, but get, again, you can just use torches if you want, or sea lanterns, or regular lanterns, or anything you want that's going to be um, bright. And what we're actually going to do now is we are going to plant some potatoes. You can also plant carrots, too. So I'm, I'm just going to do some of both. Put all these potatoes here. Put some carrots. Now that we're all planted up, uh, we'll see all this is going to be starting to grow. And you don't actually have to complete the whole farm if you don't have enough to, because the villager that we're going to put in here, um, who's going to maintain the farm to uh, so he can give potatoes to our other villagers to get them, or, or, or carrots, to get them ready to make some babies. He will actually uh, unplant and replant them as they grow. So if you don't finish the entire farm, he will actually finish the rest for you, which is uh, pretty kind of him. So now what we're going to do over here is we're going to start building the uh, breeding cell. And so for that we're going to need some beds. Uh, it doesn't matter what color they are. We're going to put them like this. Now, it's very important that you have the beds facing this direction with uh, the pillows like that. Um, just because if not, it'll kind of not work too great. And actually, I just realized they need to be a block down. They need to be right here. There. That's where they need to be. Now we're going to get a fence and we're going to get uh, trap doors. We're going to put the fence here. Or the fence will be here. And now we're, we're going to put trap doors right here, 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 and here. Gotta close them up. Now we're gonna do a little bit of digging. <coughs> now, we, oh, I just broke the fence. There. All right. Now it's very important we destroy the. Uh, blocks underneath the beds uh, because it'll prevent the villagers from
from getting anywhere that they want to be uh, and where they're not supposed to be um, with their sleep schedule thing and also if those blocks are beneath the beds then it'll like do like that and this is where our baby villager is going to fall down when he's born and we don't want that because then he's going to stay up in there and he won't be able to fall through and that will break it because then he'll be able to claim one of his beds and we don't we don't want him to do that that's the last thing we want him to do um so now that we have some area down here i'm just going to get some glass and we're going to make a little tube for our baby villager too now is the hard part if you're playing this on survival and you're not able to get any kind of spawn eggs but now this is when we want to get villagers so put one in here and he should very quickly oh, there he goes he's a farmer now because of the composter he's going to go around and do his do his thing we can get some potatoes actually start helping him out we can because he, he he's going to want to collect potatoes and get them in his inventory so we, we just want to give him some potatoes he'll go grab those eventually probably anyway now we're going to need two more villagers and they're going to go here and here they're going to hang out in there these are going to be our breeder guys they're going to make our babies uh, oh, we also need to actually change this. Uh, first, we need to get a trap door. Just because we don't want him getting out of there. And so, if we put a trap door here, he actually cannot. And then we actually need to move these out there. So now he will be able to go up and. Uh, toss the potatoes down to his friends and start getting them ready. So let's, let's get some potatoes. If you have a bunch of potatoes on hand, feel free to just give them to our friends. You see, they'll go ahead and they'll get those potatoes and then they'll throw the potatoes back and forth. And then the baby will go in here. Now, occasionally and actually often he's gonna give these guys more potatoes than they need and so this is where this comes in oh they're already having fun so let's give them some privacy this this is where it's gonna come in real handy because you can actually use this as a potato as a like an automatic potato farm also oh yo bud see it works um, so anyway, what we can do is we can get a hopper, a hopper, and we can get a chest. Uh, hey, sorry little buddy. We can put the chest here. We can put the hopper there, leading into the chest. And so, there we go. So he'll eventually end up dropping too many potatoes and they can go in there and they'll go into the chest. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but it is um, kind of helpful. I personally would use potatoes and hook it up to like a giant smelter cooker and, um, you know, have a baked potato farm. That'd be pretty good, but see, he's, he's going over there. You should toss him some potatoes. You got any potatoes, friend? Yeah, suck. And so let's just help him out. Let's give him some more potatoes. And if you are in creative and you hold down shift, you grab an item, it gives you a stack of them. That's what I'm doing there. He'll get those potatoes, probably. Or he'll, he'll ignore them. Hey, you know what? I don't like you either. Yeah. I gave you those. Well, we can toss them to these guys. These guys will accept our potatoes gladly. Have these potatoes, friends. 
Yeah, see. Ah, I took a few. Oh. Take the potatoes. Oh, they took a few. Anyway, but so this here will create about 12 villagers an hour. Which isn't a whole lot, but I'm pretty sure, you know, this is about the most you can do. You could build several of these and get a lot of villagers an hour, but the thing is, 12 villagers is a lot. I don't, uh, you know, unless you're making some kind of insane, like, iron farm, or if you just really want to find someone with, like, really good trades. But, yeah, so, if we wait, they should give us some babies. Five minutes later. Oh, we got some lovey hearts. You know what that means. Should be getting something soon. Oh, and there we go. What's up? And then you you can wash them away with water or use a minecart or something. Obviously, if you're you know, playing on super flat, you want to build this up higher so you have more room. But, uh, big thing, make sure these guys can't get out. Um, make sure this guy can't get anywhere where he wants to claim one of these beds. That will break the entire thing. Because they have four beds, and three of them. See, he, he's going to give them some potatoes, they're going to take some of them. Some they won't, and will fall down into those hoppers. Um, so... They have four beds, and they have three of them, so they're going to see that extra bed and be like, hmm, so our, our village needs uh, more people, and once they're willing and have their potatoes and are all happy, they'll be like, oh, we have this extra bed we need to fill, and so then they'll decide to fill it. But then he will go away, and they'll obviously decide, oh, we still have this extra bed, Time for more babies. So, that is how it works, and that is how it's built. Um, yeah, another thing you can do is having all these villagers here is going to attract a lot of zombies. So, I found that out the hard way. I should have known, but... So, be very careful when you're building it on, like, a survival world. But what you can do is you can like dig a trench around it and like uh like put trap doors on the side and so the zombies will walk into it so you'll see the trap door is a full block and then you can um make actually like a zombie xp farm along with it and then also on top of your food and your villagers so it's a uh, yeah it's a very profitable farm it seems to work pretty well um, just don't let any zombies in. If any zombies get in and affect these villagers, obviously it'll break it. So don't make sure, don't let any blocks be like that, or they can jump in. They'll jump these beds and sleep, and that's fine, as long as, obviously, there's no blocks underneath it. And I don't know if you have to, but if you, like, make a wall here, I'm pretty sure that also encourages them to not jump out of the bed over to here so but yeah i hope you uh enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and uh leave a like and if you really liked it go get that really like button which is the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video do 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 do